everything that you want in this world, everything that you set forth, your goals, you have to go out there and you have to get it, you know, and nothing's going to be given to you. The dramatic transformation of Andre Woodson came unexpectedly after his disappointing 2005 season as the Wildcats starter. In the first couple of years, I kind of just slacked around. I had players like Jerry Lorenzen and Shane Boyd who were in front of me, and you know, I kind of accepted just being second string, third string, red shirt. There's no telling when you're going to get thrown into the fire, so you know, you better be ready to go. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't do that, and it showed the first year I finally started. The Andre Woodson of 2005 was unimpressive. Kentucky suffered through a three and eight season, finishing last in the SEC East. We opened the job up in the spring and. and put him on notice that he had to earn the job. I think Andre did a lot of reflecting at the end of spring practice before starting his summer workouts. Reflection was never a solitary act for Woodson, who attended high school less than 100 miles from Lexington in Radcliffe, Kentucky, and did not come to the university alone. A lot of our friends from high school go to school down here. And it's like we were one big family and, you know, we all got good heads and we're all trying to do something. So we stick together. And that's like Andre's biggest motivation right there. After helping him through a disappointing college career, Woodson's surrogate family was struck with tragedy. A car crash left his close childhood friend, Eric Johnson, in a coma for a month. Woodson spent every free moment with Eric at the hospital. Andre, he ate too much to talk about you know, football, he was just more concerned about, like, what was going on with me. It has a lot to do, like, where I'm, where I'm at right now. Johnson, who is just finishing junior college, had spoken to the Kentucky coaches about walking onto the football team. But that dream was shattered now. It was by his friend's side that Woodson realized his own football dreams were in jeopardy. And that kind of just opened up my eyes. Well, I'm about to lose my spot, and I'm showing here that I really don't care. You know, he's, he's out there and he's about to lose his life and he's still fighting, so why am I doing the same thing for something that's less, less harder to do? <laughs> After months of hard work, Johnson made a close to full recovery, and so had Woodson. I went out there and started practicing hard, started going after my own goals and doing what I came here to do, and that was hopefully turn around the program for the University of Kentucky. In 2006, Woodson led his team to an 8-5 finish, the most wins for a Kentucky team in 22 years. He also topped the SEC in total passing yards and touchdowns and was named MVP of the Music City Bowl, leading the Cats to a victory over Clemson. He's more confident in himself, and he knows that for us to be successful as a team, he, he needs to, to kind of make himself, you know, the man stand out even more than he did last year because this swagger is gonna take us to where we need to go. Kentucky lives and dies by Andre Wilson.